we're back and today we're talking about all the anime that i've seen during week one of winter 2024 anime season so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it and we're gonna start off with ishura now ishura is an action-packed anime it just starts off with an absolutely banger of an episode action-packed great animation there is some cgi in here but the cgi is really not bad at all it's actually good and you know barely noticeable you can tell whenever they're using cgi because i mean you can just tell but it's not really bad at all but this seems to be like a battle royale anime right where essentially you know somebody that's very strong is looking for other strong people to fight and test their you know battle uh powers i guess right uh that's the vibe that i got from the first episode i haven't read the manga or anything like that so i really don't know exactly what the plot is going to go with this anime but hey it's action-packed so if you're looking for something that's really crazy in the action department you know check Ishura out it's on Hulu and you know it's honestly a very good pick for the anime season of winter 2024 next we're going to be talking about classroom of the elite season three now classroom of the elite is definitely one of those popular anime in the anime community we really don't need to talk too much about it because almost everybody knows what classroom of the elite is and you know if you don't like it that's fine but classroom of the elite is definitely top tier i'm really excited for season three now if you don't know what classroom of the elite is well it's a psychological anime right where it's not about really fights or anything like that but you know <laughs> there's a pretty good fight in there you know what i mean anyways yes classroom of the elite is psychological so if you like that type of stuff or you want to get into that type of anime you know make sure to check classroom of the elite out even though i doubt that you know not anybody hasn't heard of it right anyways let's go ahead and move on to the next one next we're going to be talking about gushing over magical girls now this one is definitely the wild card the crazy one of the season absolutely crazy uh now this is on high dive there is an uncensored version but i was absolutely shocked when i watched this anime right because i i heard some people talking about it that it was wild so i went in expecting you know something like extreme amount of fan service and that was really only going to be the topic of this anime right and not only is it just heavy with the fan service but again it's uncensored so you actually get to see some stuff which kind of brings the question right at what point do we consider an anime an anime and when does it transition over to like an H anime right like a hentai or something like that right because I definitely do feel like this on the H anime category if you ask me but I really don't know if there's a certain criteria that has to be met before it's considered that but if you know let me know in the comments down below but yeah this anime is absolutely a crazy wild you know 11 out of 10 crazy anime of the season especially since it's uncensored but let me know if you're checking this one out let me know if the difference between you know what makes an anime and an H anime in the comments down below next we got delicious in dungeon now this is a food centric anime right and we have gotten anime that are just focusing on food i mean food wars is one of them i mean restaurant to another world there's definitely a target audience for this kind of anime and i gotta say i was really surprised by the first episode of delicious in dungeon the colors are vibrant the animation is good i mean it's a really well made anime and i was honestly laughing at some of the jokes some of the stuff that was happening in this anime and i definitely recommend it now this anime is about a group a, a party that were exploring a dungeon and one of them gets captured the sister of the main character gets eaten by a dragon so they decide to go back into the dungeon but they don't have any money to buy resources like food equipment and stuff like that so they decided they were going to go back into the dungeon and live off the monsters that are in there so you know destroying the monsters cooking the monsters gathering the materials and all that stuff the food looks phenomenal it makes me hungry it's great i'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on this one watching weekly it is on netflix so you know that's great because you know anime on netflix definitely blows up the popularity of stuff so yeah i'm here for it this is definitely a big shocker for me i did not expect to like this anime as much as i did delicious in dungeon is definitely one of those that might be underrated just because of the genre that it is right a food centric anime but let me know what you think next we got another crazy wild anime not as bad as gushing over magical girls nowhere near it to that level right but this one is called the chained soldier now this one sounds exactly what it is somebody goes into another dimension he meets a commander that you know is laying demons and stuff like that and they come into like a little contract you could say where essentially the main character becomes you know the soldier of this commander and you know battles for her right but you know he's chained up and stuff like that you know it can get a little weird you know what i mean there's definitely some scenes in there that makes you kind of like cringe a little bit because it's absolutely wild right it's essentially somebody being dominated by somebody else right that's essentially what the anime is now 
This one definitely has some CGI in there and it's very, very noticeable. I absolutely hate CGI, so I'm probably not gonna keep up with this one. It's not as good as something like, for example, Ishura that I mentioned earlier, right? Ishura has CGI, but you know, it's barely noticeable, but this one, the CGI, you can definitely tell is there. And you know, it just switches up with the 2D animation and the CGI, very noticeable. It takes me out of the anime, but it has some pretty cool fights. So if you don't mind CGI, check this one out. And of course, you know, the fan service and crazy stuff that happens here, you know, be aware of that. I know some people don't like that kind of stuff, but yeah, it, it, it can get a little cringy at times. Next, we got yet again another isekai, and this one is called The Wrong Way to Use Healing Magic. Now, I read the first chapter of this one and I also watched the first episode, and honestly, the first half of the episode really wasn't that strong, but the second half was really good. Now, this one, the main character, of course, gets isekai by accident because only two of his friends were supposed to go into this other world to become the heroes of the world, but he got dragged along, and then he learns that he has an affinity for healing magic the rarest in the kingdom. And of course, then comes in Rose, the person that's going to essentially train the main character into becoming a top tier healer that's gonna go into the front lines. And I'm guessing in this world, the healers, they have to be like OP because you know, again, they're gonna go into the front lines to rescue people and they're probably gonna have to do some fighting. Either way, Rose, she reminds me of Mata Leona from Black Clover and I absolutely love Mata Leona. So really, that's the main reason I'm gonna keep watching this anime because I absolutely just love Rose energy and of course if the main character which more than likely is gonna be OP I also like that in my Isekai anime an OP main character I can never get enough but yeah the wrong way to use healing magic pretty good I definitely recommend to check it out at the very least the three episode try next we got tales of wedding rings now yet again another Isekai now this one is a harem as well now episode one didn't have that anything crazy fan service like you know gushing over magical girls or you know Shane soldier it did have a couple kissing scenes here and there you know just your typical fan service that you will find in something like fire force nothing that we haven't seen before in anime right but I feel like this is definitely one of the weakest anime that I've seen so far I really just didn't care too much about the plot which essentially is a main character meets a girl from another world and you know they grew up together he's definitely in love with her and when she returns home in order to get married because the kingdom needs like a savior well the main character goes into the other world and you know they kiss and boom it's done he becomes the king ring right essentially somebody that's destined to be a hero and protect the kingdom from the darkness that's happening in the kingdom right so yeah it's, it's it, i just found it very very hard to really connect with any other characters really didn't care too much about the plot so this one is one that i'm going to be skipping but if you're watching this one if you're a manga reader or light novels you know let me know in the comments does it pick up does the story get better or is it really just one of those harems that just gets carried by the fan service and stuff like that let me know in the comments down below next we got the strongest tank labyrinth raids now this one is definitely another fantasy anime it's not an isekai but it follows a tank that gets kicked out of the main hero's party and then he learns that you know he's really one of the most op tanks ever he just didn't know how to use his abilities because in this world even though you have certain abilities for your class or whatever the case may be you really don't know exactly how it works until somebody with an identification skill tells you what exactly you have and those people with the identification skills they're very very rare but he finds one he learns his stuff and you know he goes from there now again episode one i felt like it was very slow paced i found it hard to get into any of these characters but you know i'm gonna give it three episodes I at the very least it deserves that because it does remind me of playing an MMORPG so you know for that reason I'm gonna give it three episodes but I really don't have too many uh, high hopes for this one but again if you're watching this one let me know in the comments down below let me know how you liked it or if you have the same kind of opinion that I have where it just felt kind of like man at the very least next we got the undead unwanted adventurer now this one reminds me of that time I got reincarnated as a slam now this is not an easy guy right the only reason it reminds me of the slam anime is because essentially the main character you know he meets his son timely death and he becomes an undead and a skeleton monster right and then he kind of just you know goes around the dungeon because he doesn't need to sleep doesn't need to eat and he starts killing these monsters until he evolves which is kind of familiar to how you know Rimuru got started whenever he got isekai into the you know 
his world. So yeah, that's why it reminds me of that time I got reincarnated as Islam. I am interested in this type of story because the main character, you know, he's going to be evolving. The monsters evolve. So he's going to be going through that process. I am interested in that. And also, I kind of want to see the main character win, right? He was an adventurer and, you know, he really wasn't that powerful. He was kind of like a, you know, a veteran, but he was never really high ranking. But now that's going to be his goal to become one of the best adventurers out there. And, you know, maybe his new monster body is going to help him with that. I mean, of course it is but yeah definitely excited for this one i'm gonna be keeping up with it weekly and we'll see how it goes right maybe halfway through the season i'll get bored and i'll end up dropping it right i do watch a lot of isekai anime throughout the season but towards the end i definitely do drop the vast majority of them but we're gonna have to wait and see only time can tell with this one Next, we got yet again another isekai, but this one, you know, I'm going to need to read the name because it's a whole paragraph, okay? This one is called, My Instant Death Ability Makes Me So Overpowered That Nobody Stands a Chance in This World. Yeah, that's the name. Absolutely crazy. But it's exactly what it sounds like, right? Is the main character gets transported into another world and he has the most OP ability, right? Instant death. I did a video breaking down his power because it's definitely more complex than just that. But yeah, episode one, I read the manga. It wasn't really anything too crazy. But if you like an OP main character, yeah, then this anime is definitely for you, which is the reason why I am watching this Isekai, right? I did read a little bit of the manga to do research for the video I made. But yeah, I do like you know main characters that are op so i'm here for it i'm gonna watch it until i get bored and then maybe drop it we'll see where it goes then we got mass show season two is here we got to meet the divine visionaries absolutely goaded first episode now starting from this point on i am 100 new to all the content because i did read the manga before season one came out i just did not get far along to finish all the content in season one so like the last episode and a half of season one is what uh, it was new to me but now in season two boom everything is new and this episode did not disappoint i really wish you know masha would have you know exploded in popularity and the manga sales would have taken off now the manga is over so there's really not any more room for that but hey i really do wish the anime just becomes more popular because i definitely do think masha deserves the recognition it's absolutely funny op main character which i absolutely love and then you know you already know it feels like it's harry potter and one punch man had a baby and it, it was an anime that's exactly what it feels like and i absolutely love every second of it macho makes me laugh the action is great the fight is great there's really nothing not to love about macho also i love the art style it's, it's a little extreme I, I absolutely love it some people might not like it but hey for me macho is definitely a top tier anime and i'm gonna be keeping up with it every single week from now on so yeah super excited for this one then we got solo leveling last but definitely not least because i definitely do feel solo leveling had the strongest episode of the season and i honestly don't think there's anything that's going to come close to it i mean the animation on here top tier i mean top tier you can it can definitely be comparable to something like demon slayer not quite at that level but it can be compared right definitely top tier and of course the adaptation itself at least to me it felt great i did read the manga but you know I don't remember 100% of everything that happened, right? Like, I don't, I didn't memorize every single panel that was on there. But at the very least, it felt like the pacing was great. It wasn't like God of High School where they were adopting like 57,000 chapters in one episode. It feels like, you know, this was maybe like one, two, maybe three chapters at most. Again, I don't have every chapter memorized, so I don't really know exactly how many chapters were adopted. But it definitely felt like the pacing was great. I cannot wait for next week's episode, solo leveling. I mean, it, we already knew it was going to be one of the most popular anime of the season if not the most popular anime of the season but yeah solo leveling so far 10 out of 10 easily great i cannot wait for the next episode let's hope that they don't butcher the adaptation like later on like maybe they just do like a switcheroo with episode one get everybody invested but then the adaptation just goes to hell from then on right let's hope they keep this pace let's hope they keep this level of production and yeah solo leveling is gonna go into the history books anyways this other anime that i've watched in the first week I'm going to be making another video with the anime I'm going to be watching next week because there's still anime coming out, right? I believe we're going to have new anime for like two more weeks or something like that, right? So yeah, definitely going to make more videos regarding all these anime that I'm watching, which ones I'm going to be dropping, which ones I'm going to be watching. And I'm also making reaction videos for Classroom of the Elite because it's goaded. Anyways, let me know what anime you're watching this, is in, this season. And like always, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace out. Boom.